Hello everybody. Today we're going to do a video on how to peg tune your instrument. Uh, the first thing, there's a couple things I want to just show you about your instrument and how it works so that you know, understand the mechanics of how peg tuning works and that hopefully should give you a little bit better insight on how to actually go about doing it. So all of your instrument, all of your strings start at the bottom here, go up through the bridge, go into the peg box and then wrap over the top of your string. So you'll see that it goes, or the string wraps over the top of the peg. So the string goes up and then wraps over. So when you want to tighten the string, you want to turn your pegs so that you're turning away from your face towards the scroll so that the string wraps over the, bo over the top of the string. Then if you want to loosen them, you bring that back towards you so that you're essentially letting out some of the string. Okay. All of your top are all of your outside strings, your outside strings, they line up and go to the bottom pegs, the bottom pegs here. All of your inside strings, your middle strings, they'll come up and go all the way to the top pegs and then they correspond to each side. So like your highest string is um, going to this peg, your second highest string, this peg, third highest string this peg and your lowest string this peg so it kind of lets you you know all instruments are organized this way so the string goes up and over and you know the right peg the the pegs are chosen depending on whether they're outside or inside pegs outside strings go to the bottom pegs inside strings go to the top pegs okay the other thing to note when you are doing this is that these pegs have a taper meaning that if I'm turning this peg right here it means that this side of the peg is smaller than this side of the peg and it matches a hole that is drilled through the peg box and the reason why this is the case is is that that wedge shape that taper shape fits in that taper hole and tightens in that's how the peg holds faster if it was just a straight peg it would loosen over time and you wouldn't be able to get the grip that it needs so it's important to note that while you're pushing and while you're turning these pegs we have to actually push the peg into the peg box so that that wedge kind of wedges itself in that tapered hole so while we turn we're going to it's kind of like a screw motion where we turn and push at the same time we're not going to turn then push or push then turn it's turning and pushing at the same time in order to get it to tighten up okay so that's the basics the last thing you want to know about peg tuning is that when you turn these pegs a little bit goes a long way and I know a little bit is kind of a subjective term a little bit could mean this much it could mean this much it could mean this much but really a little bit for us anytime you turn these pegs you want to think about the face of a clock so imagine that there's a face of a clock around this peg and that when you are turning you don't ever want to turn more than like a minute at a time right so that is a lot that's a little bit of tuning if you were to turn that peg more than five minutes you're gonna hear a big change in your string that's a big movement so think turning a minute at a time in order to ease yourself in now last thing I want to say is turning it too much um, can break a string and, and that's okay it's, there's uh, you know it's it's not like it's a scary event but it does snap the string usually what will happen is it'll snap at one part and start to unravel um, but it's just kind of a hassle so you want to be very very careful you know what you're doing take it slow and never over tighten a string now you can tell you're over tightening a string if this if the pitch of the string goes over the pitch that you're shooting for so I've put my tuner in the background there so you can kind of see what uh, notes we're working on and right now I've, I'm gonna play my A string so how I do this is I put the instrument facing me so that the strings are facing me if I'm tuning my lower strings I have to use my left hand up here at the peg in order to turn the strings so I'll place my right the opposite hand on the upper bout and use that thumb to pluck the strings while I use my left hand to um, while I use my left hand to turn the pegs if I'm doing my high strings I'll place my left hand string on the instrument pluck the strings and use my right hand to turn the peg now this this all works for violin viola and cello it's just bigger for the cello bigger motions okay but still the same minute uh, movement with the peg okay so here's what we're gonna do you can see in the background that my a string is 
almost in tune. There it is. It's like perfectly in tune now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen the peg for my A string. I'm gonna show you how this goes. Most of the time you're gonna hear your pegs are going to be loose. One of the pegs will loosen, but um, so you'll see now that in the background, my A string, this A string that I'm trying to play is ringing a G. That means that I've gotta bring that pitch up to pitch. So the best way to do this is you wanna make sure you're plucking the whole entire time. So you're plucking the whole time you're moving your pitch. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that pitch up. You're plucking the whole time and you're gonna bring it up just very, very slow. And try to make sure we get this in the camera so that you can kind of see this as well. Sorry. Try to get it so that you can see. There we go. So I've got my, I'm tuning a high string, so I've got my left hand on the upper bout, and I'm plucking the string the whole time. That is so important because that's how you dial it in. Now I'm coming up here to my peg box, and I'm just going to start turning and pushing into the peg box. And you can see now I'm making my way through A flat. And the whole time my hand is pushing in while I'm slightly turning. You can see I'm not making big turns, but it's making big changes in the note. And now I've got it pretty close, and I've got it close enough that I can actually use my fine tuner to dial it in. That's how you walk through peg tuning your nose. So it's really important. You go very slow, a minute at a time, and you're pushing in while you're turning this peg. And it's important that you're playing the whole time so that you can watch that tuner over here. You can watch that tuner dial in to the right note. You don't ever want to like pluck it, turn it without hearing it because you may overshoot it and break a string. 